The maker of EpiPen has injected a new twist into the debate over the cost of the medical aid. Mylan says it will start selling a generic version of the device which is used to treat severe allergies, cutting the cost in half. But the announcement comes in the wake of criticism about the steep price increases since the company began manufacturing the product. Until it clicks, hold it for 10 seconds and then slowly release. For people with severe allergies, this device could mean the difference between life and death but it comes at a premium. Pharmaceutical company Mylan bought the right to manufacture EpiPens in 2007. A year later, the price of a pack of two cost $100. It's now $600, an adrenaline shocking 500% hike, leading to criticism of Mylan and a drop in its share price. In a bid to quell the fire, Mylan says it'll launch a generic version of the EpiPen, priced at $300. But for many people, it's too little, too late. And for something as important and urgent as an EpiPen, uh, going to the pharmacy and finding out you need to have a $200, $300 copay is just shocking. Uh, you can't not have it if you have a child with an allergy. So this really hit home in, in a very emotional way for a very large part of the population. Milan's CEO, Heather Bresch, has defended the high cost, saying it spent millions of dollars improving the device. She says it recoups less than half of the price tag, and many customers already receive significant discounts. In the end of the day, uh, for them, they'll probably lose about a quarter of the revenue for the product. Um, EpiPen was about 20% uh, of the operating profit. So uh, the hit here will be obviously be bigger than just 5%. It might be somewhere between 5 and 10% of earnings. By launching an unbranded product, Mylan is essentially competing with itself. So why would Mylan make this move? EpiPen generates around a billion dollars in sales every year. However, it's widely expected another company, Teva, will soon win approval in the US to produce its own generic version of the patented product. By introducing the unbranded version now, Mylan is hoping to hold on to its customer base and stem the loss of any future profits. But it still may not be enough to offset growing criticism of the company. For more on the story, I'm joined from uh, the US by Peter Maberdirk. He directs the Public Citizens Global Access to Medicines program in Washington, DC. Many thanks for joining us, Peter. Now, there were calls for an investigation into this price hike, which in some cases was up to over 500%. But now that we've got this unbranded product, which is half the price, is it enough to stop that price investigation? No, it's not nearly enough. Mylon's introduced one more convoluted mechanism to try and avoid plain talk about price. If Mylon wishes to quell the criticism, it simply has to cut the price of its EpiPen down to its, down to its starter price, around $100 per pack, instead of today's $600. You know, this price has spiked over the years in rough correlation to the CEO's executive compensation, which is now $19 million a year. They're building on a, this is a decades old invention that was uh, developed in large part on US taxpayer funding to deliver a 100 year old drug. So there's no new innovation happening here except for Mylon's incredibly aggressive marketing. And I imagine that the criticism is gonna continue until Mylon takes this seri seriously and stops with these sort of very complicated, distracting uh, coupons and other, other mechanisms to try and pass the blame on to insurers, and instead recognizes and admits that yes, indeed, they've been price gouging the public and they need to take responsibility for that. The company's CEO says it's the system at fault. I mean, normally competition is what brings down prices of products like this. Why has that not happened in this case? Uh, well, of course, the drug companies want to point the figure, uh, finger at insurers, and insurers want to point the finger at the drug corporations. Uh, but it is quite simple to reduce price if one chooses. You did hit the nail on the head, though. And we have a monopolies problem uh, in the United States and really around the world where we give companies far too much power to have exclusive control of a market. Mylon is supposed to be a generics manufacturer. Uh, and indeed, this is essentially a generic product. The problem really isn't. Uh, patents. The problem uh, is simply bringing a new product onto the market, other competitors that can clear the regulatory 
hurdles. And what should happen is Mylon should charge a reasonable price until that time. But Mylon is taking full advantage of the fact that at the moment they have no competitors in the market and it will take time to bring a competitor online and charging all of us essentially every last penny we will pay to care for the people that we love in our lives. Uh, so it, it has to stop. Today, Public Citizen delivered about a, a million signatures to Mylon corporate headquarters to demand a cut to the price. Okay, many thanks for joining us. Peter Maybadek from the Public Citizen's Global Access to Medicines program.